me a bit about the project that you've got running here at Glen Lude. It's the smallest of the John Muir properties, isn't it? And I've got to say at the outset, I'm obviously an enormous fan of the John Muir Trust. I've got to declare an interest here. But tell me about what you're doing in particular. Um, yeah, Glen Lude is, yeah, it's, it's just about 150 hectares and we've got a 20 year plan to gradually remove all the conifers that you see around us and reinstate them with uh, native trees. Um, we're doing it gradually. We're just doing, using sort of uh, low impact civiculture systems, um, sort of felling small amounts of spruce. Then we take out the main chunk of the timber, which we turn into firewood, which creates money, which we sell that goes back into the project. And then um, we build big brush edges with the the, the, the leftover branches and uh, to keep the deer out. To keep the deer out, big yeah. And then we plant trees within within the hedges, and um, it's a nice sort of low impact, gentle way. We're gradually opening up the canopy. We're doing as little damage as possible to the soil structure, and which would would, would definitely be damaged if this sort of thing was going abs on. Absolutely, absolutely. If we do if we do have to use mechanical means, we'll use small scale machinery. Um, we're looking into possibly doing some horse logging as well. Well, wow. um, and just yeah. trying to work with nature. Yeah. I mean, we're learning all the time as as the project progresses. Every time I go out on the hill, I learn something new. I'll see something new. I'll discover a new species and we're trying to work with nature and let nature kind of dictate what it wants to be rather than us trying to direct direct nature so yeah and phoenix futures are uh, that's an initiative that's working with people who are under rehabilitation for that's drug right. and alcohol yeah. abuse yeah yeah we've got um we've got um groups all around scotland and some of them are residential groups some of them are sort of re rehabilitation within the community and they come out maybe once or twice a month and they look after phoenix forest here which they've created um, planting a tree for every service user that successfully goes through their recovery through nature programme and their um, rehabilitation programme. So it's quite a powerful tool.